Hallelujah, God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Shuri Fon, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Shuri Fon. May God bless you bountifully in the name of Jesus. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I have this prophetic word, and you must be careful. There is someone in your life, and this person was sent by the devil. This person is a demon possess someone they are on an assignment in your life to terminate a process to terminate a season that god is carrying you through you see sometimes we are so eager to get out of a season it could be a season of pain maybe the season is not as glorious as you want it to be sometimes we are so eager to get out of a season out of a process that we forget to understand that God carries men through process before the blessings. There is somebody in your life offering you an opportunity, a disguised opportunity, a so-called opportunity, and you are tempted to believe. You are tempted to accept the opportunity, but somehow your spirit keeps telling you that that is not it. Somehow your spirit keeps telling you that that is not it. You see, when the devil wants you to miss what God has for you, he will bring something disguised as good and if you go in for that you will miss the best that God has for you you cannot let them deceive you look at the story of Joseph Joseph was called by God to become somebody so great to an extent where Joseph had a dream and he saw the stars the sun and the moon bowing down to him and guess what he went through a process from the time that Joseph had that dream to the time that he became uh, what God said he would be took a very long process imagine for a second that Joseph decided to become something else because he was or could not longer go through the painful process he went through a lot of process he was put into the pit he was sold off to to slavery he became a boy a house help in the house of Potiphar. he went to prison and made more uh, so many years in prison but after that became the glory sometimes god will take you through the process and many of us we don't understand that sometimes the miracle we are praying for has already begun in the process we find ourselves because you think the miracle is the final stop no the miracle is the entire process the entire process you're going through makes up the miracle yes when you get to the place of miracle you will appreciate the process be careful don't let them abort what god is doing in your life don't let them cause you to miss where god is carrying you to no don't let that happen don't let that happen. You need to be keen. You need to pray that God will give you strength for you to go through whatever God is carrying you through. Yes. You cannot let them abort that process halfway. Because if your process is aborted halfway, you would have to start over again. And that is going to mean a lot of time. Look at the Israelites. They were going through a process. God took them from Egypt to the promised land. And they had to go to the wilderness. You see, the wilderness for the Israelites was their process. And that was the midway between where they came from and where God was carrying them to. That was their process. If you read the book of Exodus, you realize that somewhere along the line, most of them wanted to give up. Somewhere among, uh, along the line, most of them were complaining. Some of them wanted to go back. Their complaints were about food. Their complaints were about comfort. And those are the particular things that the devil will use to get at us and cause us to, to stop, to halt a process God is carrying us through because of where he's taking us to. Imagine that you want to produce a cake or, or you want to make a cake. There's a process from the flour, the sugar, the, the, the vanilla, the eggs to the cake. And until that process happens, there will be no cake. And if you have bought the process halfway, there still will be no cake. Honey, go what through God is carrying you through. Go through whatever God is carrying you through. As long as you prayed about it, as long as you call upon the name of the Lord in that situation, and it's still the same, it means God is in it. If you've prayed about it, if you've cried about it, if you fasted about it and nothing has changed, I want you to understand that God is in it. God is the one working in you, both for his will and for his good pleasure. And when the Lord is done, guess what? There will be a crown of glory. There will be a crown of glory. Abraham's process took 25 years. 
And one day the Bible says that Abraham had the child which was promised to him by God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the Lord will strengthen you with might in your inner man. That God will strengthen you with might in your inner man for, so you can be able to go through this season in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to understand again that the miracle is not in what you prayed for. But the miracle is the process. It's not about the, the, the marriage you prayed for, but the entire process from when God takes you from where you are single to where God gets you married. is the process. The miracle is not in what you ask, but the miracle is in the process to what you ask. Yes, I pray that God will strengthen you in this season. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.